let's start with selecting the Lexip tool and we need to unfill the fill option now we choose the color we want for our fireworks and set the size of the stroke we create a perfect circle now we start with the animation first we need to go to the dash option we click it twice so we have the dash and the gap option Now we go to the stroke width and change it. It's very important that we adjust these settings as we can see it best for us. So don't be afraid to play with these options until you get the best result for you. Now the animation part. We'll use the stroke width animation to release the dashes We just finished the explosion with this animation. Now we need to start it. So we go to the scale option. It's very important that you set up this in sync with the other keyframes. So go to the last position and set a keyframe in the scale. Explode begin and go away. Let's see how it goes and it goes very slow. We need to adjust that. It's very important that you adjust these settings the way you want it so you can duplicate this animation later so you can have more fireworks. Now duplicate the layer and move it around, put it in another place, change the size or the color so you can have more explosion in your animation. You can repeat this process as many times you want and adjust it so they don't look quite similar. <laughs> 